every 20 seconds, someone is rushed to the ER with an asthma attack. But what if I told you that the root cause of your asthma may not be what you've been told, then new treatments are helping people breathe freely again without relying solely on inhalers. In this video, we're uncovering the truth about asthma that most doctors never explain. Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease of the airways that affects millions of people worldwide. It's characterized by wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightness, and coughing, especially at night or in the early morning. The inflammation caused by asthma leads to airway hyperresponsiveness, narrowing the airways and making breathing difficult. According to the latest CDC data, over 25 million Americans have asthma, including a staggering one in 12 children. These numbers are alarming, and they're only part of the story. But what exactly causes asthma? The truth is, asthma is multifactorial, involving a complex interplay of genetics, environment, and immune response. Let's break down some of the common contributing factors that most people don't know about. First up is genetics. If you have a family history of asthma, your risk of developing the condition is increased by three times. This genetic predisposition doesn't mean you're destined to have asthma, but it does put you at higher risk. Next, we need to talk about childhood respiratory infections. Many people do unrealize that severe respiratory infections during childhood can actually set the stage for asthma later in life. These early infections can cause long-term changes in the airways, making them more susceptible to inflammation and narrowing. Here's something that might surprise you. The hygiene hypothesis. This theory suggests that our modern, ultra-clean environments might actually be contributing to the rise in asthma cases by limiting our exposure to a diverse range of microbes early in life we may be inadvertently affecting the development of our immune systems, making us more prone to allergic conditions like asthma. Lastly, let's talk about obesity. It's not just about carrying extra weight. Obesity actually increases systemic inflammation throughout the body, which can exacerbate asthma symptoms and make the condition harder to control. Now, let's move on to some early symptoms of asthma that you should never ignore. Many people brush these off as just being out of shape or having a lingering cold, but they could be warning signs of developing asthma. One of the first signs to watch out for is shortness of breath during mild activity. If you find yourself getting winded while climbing a flight of stairs or walking to your car, it might not just be a lack of exercise. It could be early stage asthma. Frequent coughing, especially at night, is another red flag. If you or your child is consistently waking up with a cough in the middle of the night or early morning, it's time to pay attention. This nighttime coughing is often a hallmark of asthma that goes unrecognized for far too long. Tightness in the chest, even when you're not exercising, is another symptom that shouldn't be overlooked. Many people describe it as feeling like their ass a weight on their chest, or like they could untake a full breath. This sensation can come and go making it easy to dismiss, but it's a classic asthma symptom. Another often missed sign is delayed recovery from respiratory infections. If you find that every cold turns into a weeks-long ordeal with a lingering cough, it could be a sign that your airways are more reactive than normal. A key feature of asthma. What's crucial to understand is that these symptoms can precede full-blown asthma by months or even years. By recognizing and addressing these early warning signs, you might be able to prevent or minimize the development of more severe asthma down the road. Now, let us dive into some of the top asthma triggers that you might be overlooking in your daily life. Understanding these triggers is crucial because avoiding them can significantly reduce your asthma symptoms and improve your quality of life. First on the list are allergens. We're talking about common household culprits like dust mites, pet dander, and pollen. These tiny particles can cause big problems for asthma sufferers, triggering inflammation and narrowing of the airways. Many people do and realize that their beloved pets or even their bedding could be major sources of asthma triggers. Air pollution is another major trigger that often flies under the radar. We're not just talking about smog in big cities, particulate matter 
smoke, and diesel fumes can all exacerbate asthma symptoms. Here, so shocking fact, indoor air can be up to five times more polluted than outdoor air, according to the EPA's 2023 Indoor Air Quality Report. This means that the air in your home or office could be silently worsening your asthma. Weather changes are another trigger that catches many people off guard. Cold air, sudden shifts in humidity, and even thunderstorms can all set off asthma symptoms. If you notice your asthma acting up with the changing seasons or during certain weather conditions, you're not alone. It's a common trigger that often goes unrecognized. Here's one that might surprise you. Stress and anxiety. Your emotional state can have a real physical impact on your asthma. When you're stressed or anxious, your breathing can become more rapid and shallow, which can trigger or worsen asthma symptoms. It's a vicious cycle, as the fear of an asthma attack can itself lead to stress, potentially triggering the very thing you're afraid of. Food additives are another hidden trigger that many people overlook. Sulfites, which are often found in dried fruits, wine, and some processed foods, can trigger asthma symptoms in sensitive individuals. MSG, a flavor enhancer commonly used in restaurant food, is another potential culprit. Lastly, certain medications can actually trigger asthma symptoms in some people. Beta blockers, commonly prescribed for heart conditions and high blood pressure, can cause bronchospasm in some asthmatics. Even something as common as aspirin can trigger severe asthma attacks in a small percentage of people with asthma. Understanding these triggers is just the first step in taking control of your asthma. In the next part of our video, we LLB diving into breakthrough. Treatments and lifestyle strategies that are helping patients reverse their asthma symptoms, and in some cases, get off their medications completely. Coming up next, we'll explore these cutting-edge approaches that are changing the game for asthma sufferers. You'll learn about new medications, innovative therapies, and simple lifestyle changes that could dramatically improve your breathing and quality of life. Don't miss the second half. And if this information has helped you so far, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on what could potentially save your life. Stay tuned because the best is yet to come in our deep dive into asthma management and treatment. Welcome back to our deep dive into asthma. In this second part, we're exploring breakthrough treatments and natural relief strategies that can help you breathe easier. Let's jump right in with standard treatments that form the backbone of asthma management. When it comes to quick relief, albuterol inhalers are the go-to solution. These rescue inhalers work fast to open up airways during an asthma attack, but they're not meant for everyday use. For long-term control, doctors often prescribe inhaled corticosteroids or leukotriene modifiers. These medications help reduce inflammation and prevent asthma symptoms from flaring up. In recent years, biologics have emerged as a powerful tool for severe asthma. Monoclonal antibodies like omalazumab and mepolazumab target specific pathways in the immune system. They can be game-changers for patients who don't respond well to traditional treatments. Each of these approaches has its pros and cons. Rescue inhalers. Provide immediate relief but don't address the underlying inflammation. Long-term control medications are effective but may have side effects with prolonged use. Biologics can be highly effective for some patients but are expensive and require regular injections. Here's a crucial warning. Over-relying on albuterol can be dangerous. A 2022 study in the Lancet Respiratory. Medicine found that excessive use of rescue inhalers is linked to increased mortality in severe asthma cases. It's a stark reminder that proper asthma management goes beyond quick fixes. Now, let's explore some breakthrough approaches that are changing the game for asthma treatment. Immunotherapy, or allergy desensitization, is showing promise for patients with allergic asthma. By gradually exposing the body to allergens, it can reduce sensitivity over time. We're also seeing exciting developments in biologics. New treatments targeting interleukins like IL-5 and IL-4 13 are offering hope for patients with specific types of severe asthma. These precision medicines are part of a broader trend towards personalized asthma care. Breathing techniques are gaining recognition as valuable tools for asthma management. The Buteco method and Papworth method both focus on controlled breathing and have shown benefits in clinical studies. These techniques can help reduce reliance on medication for some patients. Technology is playing a bigger role too. 
Smart inhalers with digital monitoring can track medication use and provide valuable data to both patients and healthcare providers. This real-time information can lead to better treatment decisions and improved outcomes. Don't underestimate the power of diet in managing asthma. Anti-inflammatory diets, rich in omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin D, may help reduce asthma symptoms. A 2024 study in the Journal of Asthma and Allergy highlighted the potential of dietary interventions as part of a comprehensive asthma management plan. Let us shift gears and talk about natural relief and lifestyle changes that can make a big difference for asthma sufferers. Air quality is crucial, and investing in a good air purifier with HEPA filters can significantly reduce indoor allergens and irritants. Identifying and avoiding triggers is key. This might mean using dustproof bedding, controlling pet dander, or making changes to your home environment. It's all about creating a space where your lungs can relax. Breathing exercises, particularly diaphragmatic breathing, can strengthen respiratory muscles and improve lung function. It's a simple technique you can practice anywhere, anytime. For many asthma patients, stress and anxiety can trigger flare-ups. That's where yoga and meditation come in. These practices not only help reduce stress, but can also improve overall breathing patterns. Don't forget about sleep hygiene. Nighttime asthma can disrupt sleep, which in turn can worsen symptoms. Elevating your head while sleeping, using hypoallergenic bedding, and maintaining a consistent sleep schedule can all help control nighttime symptoms. Now, the big question. Can asthma be reversed? While there's no cure, some patients do experience long periods of remission with proper management. The key is long-term control of inflammation. The best outcomes come from a combination of lifestyle changes, advanced treatments like biologics, and early detection of symptoms. It's about being proactive and consistent with your asthma management plan. It's worth noting that childhood asthma often improves or even disappears as kids grow up. Adults' hands at asthma, on the other hand, tends to be more persistent. But that doesn't mean it can't be effectively managed. Remember, asthma doesn't have to control your life. With the right knowledge and tools, you can take your next deep breath without fear. Share this video with someone who's battling asthma, and let's help them breathe easier. Don't forget to subscribe. We have more science-based health content coming every week. Asthma is a complex condition, but understanding it is the first step towards better management. We've covered a lot of ground today, from standard treatments to cutting-edge therapies and natural strategies. The key takeaway is that asthma management is highly individual. What works for one person may not work for another. If you're struggling with asthma, don't lose hope. Advances in treatment are happening all the time, and there are more options than ever before. Work closely with your healthcare provider to find the right combination of treatments for you. For those of you supporting loved ones with asthma, your role is crucial. Encourage them to stick to their treatment plan, help them identify and avoid triggers, and be there for them during difficult times. Remember, managing asthma is a journey, not a destination. There will be good days and bad days, but with persistence and the right approach, you can achieve better control over your symptoms. Before we wrap up, let's recap some key points. Always have your rescue inhaler on hand, but don't rely on it too heavily. Explore long-term control options with your doctor. Consider breakthrough treatments if traditional methods aren't working. And don't underestimate the power of lifestyle changes and natural strategies. Asthma research is ongoing, and new treatments are on the horizon. Stay informed, stay proactive, and most importantly, stay hopeful. With each breath, you're getting stronger and more in control of your asthma. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into asthma treatments and management strategies. If you found this information helpful, please like and share this video. Your support helps us reach more people who might be struggling with asthma. Got questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos? Drop them in the comments below. And do not forget to hit that subscribe button for more evidence-based health content delivered straight to your feed. Until next time, breathe easy, stay healthy, and keep fighting the good fight against asthma. Remember, every breath is a victory, and you're stronger than you know. See you in our next video.